Woo! And we're live! Welcome to this week's episode of The Camping Kitchen. I'm Aristotle, a country boy cooking out of Knott's Island, North Carolina. And this week, we're doing a venison Florentine pinwheel paired with a garlic mashed potato right here on The Camping Kitchen. Stick around and check it out. First up, we're gonna do our venison pinwheel. We have a venison ground meat. I have roughly about three pounds of venison because we got to serve a couple more people. But what we're going to do is we're going to roll it out and then we're going to layer it with some smoked ham. We're going to put some spinach in there and then we're going to top it with a spinach dip and a whipped cream. We're going to roll it up, put a couple strips of bacon on it, throw it in the Dutch oven and put it on the fire. All right, team. First step, bam! I'm take my meat, I've got parchment paper and a bacon pan. We're gonna lay it out. I'm gonna grab one more piece and put it on top. Pull it up to one side. I'll take my roller. And then we're gonna start rolling it out, just like that. Take a look at it. A little heavy there. All right, this is looking perfect. Oops. All right, see, now we got it perfect. Just like that, team. Take the paper off, bam, looking good. Finish it with my hand, just to get it all even. All right, next step, I'm gonna take my ham. I'm gonna line it with ham, all right? And just overlap them all the way down. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna whip up this cream cheese real quick with the spinach dip. Whip it real good. Go grab that whip, baby. I need to hit that cream cheese. <laughs> All right, team, next up, we're gonna mix and whip, y'all. Mix and whip, come on. Whip it real good. <laughs> Yeah, we already did that one for y'all. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Woo! Oh, we yeah, we got a we got a slider, guys. <laughs> a sloppy slider came out. <laughs> if you ain't having fun, guess what? You ain't having fun. My dad always said, "Don't take this shit too serious, cause nobody makes it out alive." <laughs> Love you, Dad. God bless you. Keep it cooking up there. Woo! Next step, I'm gonna put my, my cream in here. All right, we'll take my big spoon, spatula, and we're just gonna spread it out nice and easy. You don't wanna get too much at the end where you're gonna finish rolling. You wanna keep it all the way in the front. So the goal is to get it all wrapped up. Don't get it all the way to the sides because you it's gonna leak out a little bit, but we're gonna try to seal that up too, okay? Bam, a little spinach, some spinach. This is baby spinach out of Italy. <laughs> Woo! Everybody likes a little nut. We'll put a little nuts in there for you. Everybody gets a little nuts every once in a while. All right. Now, I'm gonna use my parchment paper. We're gonna roll this baby up like a Twinkie. Come on, big old meat Twinkie. <laughs> Full of the good stuff. Pressing it, bro. Look at this big old meat Twinkie. <laughs> oh gosh. Ta -ta -da! Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Looks beautiful. All right, and you guys know the deal. Everybody needs a buddy. And today, Bo Winkle's buddy is bacon. <laughs> yep, we're just gonna wrap it on this side. I'm gonna wrap it all the way under on this side and then we're gonna roll it back and then we're gonna finish the wrap. Yep, just like that. It's looking dynamite. Keep it going. Like I said, I'm gonna wrap this side, all the tuck it under, then we're gonna roll it back this way and we're gonna finish that wrap on that side. Looking real nice. It's real nice, got it from Walmart, half price off the clearance shelf. <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's for you, Janice. We love you. So now I'm gonna roll it back, team. I'm gonna roll the whole thing back. 
Put one more layer on this side. Then we're gonna lay it right in there. After we wrap it in bacon, we're gonna put it in the Dutch oven. Cook it over the fire with some onions and mushrooms. Oh yeah. All right. Already got my Dutch oven over here. Slide her right in there, team. She's already oiled up nicely, but we're gonna put a little more in there so she doesn't burn at first. You know we put some seasoning in there because I always say if you ain't sneezing, you ain't pleasing. That's right. Season your damn food, come on. Woo! We're gonna send her in. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful, wow. All right, next up, mushrooms and onions. Yeah, the onions gonna make you cry, woo! Yeah, put some big boy britches on today though. I'm trying to keep it, keep it together for you guys. <laughs> All right, we're slicing, peeling, dicing, and reeling, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get this on the fire. We're gonna make our tongue slap our brains out. We're gonna call our wife and tell her dinner's ready. We're gonna make everybody happy in the town because everybody's coming back around, if you know what I'm saying. Get them ready, get them sliced, get them diced. Take your little stickers off. Come out in your poop, if not. <laughs> Put like a corn kernel in there. Woo! Yeah, you know I'm crazy. Ain't nobody gonna tell you. <laughs> But we gotta bring a little bit of energy to the show, you know what I'm saying? Or else you can turn it off and hit that ignore button. We don't want that, we want you to hit subscribe. Let's go, baby. Hit that bell, ring a ding ding, know what I mean? All right, onions are done. Bam, we're gonna dump them onions in there. Put a couple onions on both sides. Next step, throw a couple mushrooms in there. Couple mushrooms, yeah, just like that. You know what? You know what we're gonna do next? We're gonna season them damn mushrooms now. Come on, look, garlic, salt. Yeah, we got garlic, everything, season all. You know why they call it season all? Cause you can season all of it. <laughs> you ain't lying. Woo, come on. Oh, that's some Greek seasoning. Yeah, we like that. That's that Greek Greek. It's gonna be in stores soon. Don't you worry. Seasoned pepper, gotta have that. You know what's last? Is that Italian seasoning. Bam, okay, bam, just like that. Bam, 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 just like that. All right, next step, we're gonna put it on the fire. Before we do that, we're gonna cut our potatoes though, cause we're making garlic, parm, mashed potatoes. Bam, and we're loading them up. We're putting sour cream, bacon, and chives on. We're gonna show you how we do it out here at the camp kitchen. Thanks for following along. We're back at the fire, y'all. We got our Dutch oven. We got our meat stick. <laughs> She's wrapped up tight with bacon. She's filled with love. We put some onions and mushrooms in there too, come on. All right, so we're gonna put it on the middle. We're gonna low it down. We're gonna throw a couple coals on top. We're gonna make sure this baby's rolling. How's Hades down here? Woo! Woo! I need a 20 foot shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I almost lost my arm hair on that one. Look, got a couple curlies. All right, we're gonna keep this rolling. We can come back and check on it in about 20 minutes. Uh, next step is we're gonna get the potatoes right. We're gonna bring them over here so we can create that mashed potato. All right, we already washed them. I'm just gonna dice them, cut them in half. That's it, that's all we're doing. One, two, baby. Just like that, throw them in the pot. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna boil these for 10, 15 minutes till they're fork tender. And then we're gonna put them back in the pot and we're gonna whip them up with some heavy cream, some butter, and some seasonings. Bam! A little bit of Parmesan, bacon, and garlic. Come on. Woo! Potato, potato! Not today, but maybe tomorrow. We're almost done. We ain't cutting cheese today, y'all.
That's it, y'all. It's the start to a delicious garlic parm mash loaded with bacon, sour cream, and chives right here on the camping kitchen. Woo! All right, next up, we got the potatoes diced. We put some, we put some good old Knott's Island hose water in there. It's got all the iron you need, you guys, all right? We're gonna season those babies up after we get them fired up. Let's go. Baby, would you light my fire? Woo, ha, 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 just like that. Come on. About 15, 20 minutes, them babies will be done. Oh yeah, coming along nicely, y'all. Mmm, that looks good, smells delicious. Hey, shout out to my cousin, Angel, Angel Rose and Alex. They gave me the idea, something along these lines, and that's what we're doing. Comment below what you want us to cook next. Yeah, they're boiling real good right now. I'm gonna lower that heat. Yeah, you don't need a rapid boil. You just need a slow roll, you know what I'm saying? See how tender they are. Nope. You still feel a little still feel a little crispy there. Alright. Slow roll for 15 more minutes. Alright you guys. Now, you gotta be very careful when you're dealing with hot stuff, you know. When you're rubbing on that lady and she's real hot, you just gotta be careful. Cause you burn yourself real quick. All right, bam, just like that, all right? Woo, hot like my lady, y'all. Oh, ho, 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 she looking good. She looking good, she looking good, she. Smell of vision be good right about now, come on. Woo, we're getting there, y'all. Everything's coming together nicely. That'll be done by the time I finish the taters. Yeah, so you wanna see, once, that, once you see that skin peeling off and you don't have any more firmness in the middle, that's when you know they're done. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, we're gonna take these babies back. We're gonna whip up a garlic bacon mashed potato with some Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna come back and finish that pinwheel. Woo! All right, baby, mashed potatoes are done. They are fork tender, that's what you're looking for. You want that, you want that skin to be peeling up and you want that fork to penetrate and be tender all the way through. So now we strain them, we're gonna put them in the pot, mix in some cream, some butter, some seasoning, some cheese, Top them with some bacon and head on back over to the fire and check on our pinwheel roll up. Shot of some heavy cream. We got probably four pounds of potatoes, about a cup and a half of cream. All right, we're gonna do some butter because butter makes it better, baby. Woo! You know what I'm talking about. What do you think? Half a stick? Nah. We're gonna use the whole thing, y'all. Woo! Second step. Bam! Season that damn food! Woo! All right, little Italian season. Bam! Bam! Don't forget that Italian season. Bam! <laughs> Don't forget that. Oh, pepper. Everybody needs a little pepper. Pepper makes it hot. All right, what do we got? Ooh, that Greek freak up in here! Bam! Come on. Yeah, a little season all. Gotta put that in there. Bam! That's right. All right. Nobody knows about that. That's garlic salt. <laughs> yeah, a little garlic salt and seasoned pepper. We're just gonna throw all that in there. Bam! Come on. All right, next step, baby. Mash them taters. Oh, look at all them seasonings getting in there. Oh yeah, you know that's right. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, Daddy Pig. Mashed potatoes, y'all. Woo! Dang. Y'all wish y'all had a smell of vision. Ha ha ha, you ain't lying. Woo, child. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that, I love keeping the skin in there. Adds another element to the whole dish. Um, I actually don't ever peel my potatoes. It's because that flavor! Bam, bam, flavor! Now you just, little two finger dip, give it a try. Mmm. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, Parmesan. You can't be Parmesan mashed potatoes without Parmesan cheese. Damn, those are good. <laughs> this is a garlic Parmesan mashed potato right here on the camping kitchen. Check it out. All right, so I'm gonna heat this pan up a little bit. 
I'm gonna toast some pistachios. We're gonna finish that on top of pistachios, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Let's take a look at this bad boy and see what she's looking like, come on. Woo-hoo-hoo, child, that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna grab that thermometer. We'll see what tip she's at. 132, still needs a little longer. Ooh, little on top, make it right, y'all. All right, we're gonna toast these pistachios. Bam! Nuts on fire! <laughs> you can use that one, right, Jimbo? Oh, yeah. Woo! Don't you ever touch my pan, cast iron, I'd say. Don't hit it with oil, cause you'll scratch her away. Woo, that fire's hot. Woo, child, is it once you pop the top, the fun don't stop. Let's go. We're gonna put some nuts in it, y'all. They see you rolling, they hating, patrolling, trying to catch them cooking dirty. All right, a little Parmesan cheese, finish it off. Keep her stoked, y'all. Keep that fire stoked. All right. Check her in, y'all. Oh, shit, that looks good. Smells so good, y'all. Yeah, if you had smell-o-vision, your taste buds be slapping your brains out. Something like that. <laughs> She's done. She's done, though. All right, this is the dangerous thing, y'all. Yeah, knock the coals off. Woo, look at that. All right, we're taking it back to the lean three bar. All right, next step, we're gonna chop up our bacon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, then we're gonna hit the chives. Always chop off the tops. Looking good, team. Looking good. Finished product. All right, we're wrapping it up, you guys. Woo! That's a wrap, y'all. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of The Camping Kitchen. We did a venison pinwheel florentine with encrusted pistachios and a side of garlic parmesan loaded mashed potatoes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the love and support. Thanks for following along. Let us know in the comments below what you want us to see next. My, my cousin sent me a message last week. She gave me the idea of the meal today. That's how we prepared it. That was my first time doing something like this, so don't be scared to step out of your comfort zone. Be creative, add a little more uh, flavor to the palate at home. You know what I'm saying? So check us out. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button down there. Make sure you follow along. Spread some love to your friends. We do have a giveaway still going on. We're drawing in January for a beach house giveaway. One week vacation in Caroba, North Carolina. Thanks for all the love, and we'll see you next week on The Camping Kitchen. Check us out. Oh, that's just a crust of Parmesan cheese. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. We just sliced heaven open. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Daddy Pig. Oh, yeah. Would you take a look at that, team? Going in. Hot as hell. Mm. Holy shit, that was hot. It was good though. Woo!